Back this morning. Cold day today in New England. We're going to try a little bit of beach hunting again. See if we can't get something good. First target of the day, and it came right out of this tidal pool, right here, and it sounds good. Getting silver on my Explorer, and it's a nice size coin, and I can see it right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks like a silver half dollar. It's a Franklin, it's a Franklin half. Look at that puppy, see him? Wow, look at that. Got, a, got another signal. Came right out of that hole. Let's kick this over. There it is. I think I see it. Let's see what we got here. It's an old penny. It looks like maybe a weedy. It's well worn. Ocean worn, definitely copper. Got an, got another signal. Came right out of that hole. Let's kick this over. There it is. I think I see it. Let's see what we got here. It's an old penny, it looks like maybe a weedy. It's well worn, ocean worn. Definitely copper. Just got another signal, and this is definitely a wheat penny, a wheat back. I can see the one cent on the back. Um, Lincoln on the front, and that right out of the edge of this tidal pool. So we're definitely getting wheaties, and we're getting silver already. Uh oh. Just got another good signal. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that edge. That's a silver coin right there. Uh, looks like a, it's a definitely a Merc. It's a Mercury dime. Can't tell on the back. All right. Just got a ring. Just got a ring. It's on silver too. Try uh, running the coil over it. Gold. Pull it up. See what we got. Oh yeah. Looks like a little silver. Oh, it's a little Irish ring. It's a little Irish ring. It's definitely silver. You can see how black it is. It's been there a while. It's a nice little find. A little more silver. Like to get some gold, but hey, I ain't complaining. Got a deep one out of here. I'm gonna plug my headphones. Don't see Roger. I don't know where he is. But this is us. Uh, this is. See something down there. See that? He's sitting right on edge. Mm. Oh, it's a penny. That's a, it's a newer one. Getting a lot of Wheaties, but I'm getting a few coins that are new mixed in between. Want some gold out of here. Got another signal. Out of another deep tidal pool. See what we got. Uh oh. Looks like another ring. Got two rings too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a ring. It looks silver. It's got some sort of a ladybug design on it. 
definitely silver though. You see how black it is, rings high. I definitely say that's a silver ring. Clean that one up. Second one. There's something here. This is why I hunt these tidal pools. It's all rock. about these beaches is stuff can be condensed. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. That looks like a coin down there and it looks like a good size one. Oh, I think we got a silver we got a, uh oh, uh oh, we got a barber half dollar. Look at that puppy. Wow, she's still there. I can see her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I gotta try to get a date here. 18. There's a date on there. I got to find out what it is. 1902. Wow. What a find. What a find. The thing about New England beaches, the thing about New England beaches is that we don't have a huge shorelines like California or Florida. We really have a consolidated area, but that's even works out even better for us up here. You get a lot of condensed targets and uh, you can go over an area and think it's hunted out and it's really not. Um, I've gone over areas a week later and found even more than the week pr uh, previous. So. You can't really, you got to have a different mindset when you're hunting these beaches up here. And you get real old stuff. It's really worth it. It's a fun hobby. Something over here. And uh, what I've been doing is, and I'll show you here. I like the, beach hunting's a funny thing, but you really want to hunt these tidal pools. Put the coil in there and swing it around. I just pulled this one out of this little tidal pool here and uh, I got a coin, looks like a quarter, but I got a silver half earlier and uh, it's, uh, cla it's definitely clad, you can see the copper core, not silver, but um, it tells me a few things though, it tells me that there's only about a foot of sand, maybe two, on this beach and we'll be back down to where we need to be to get the good stuff but uh, that's why you want to get to the lowest mean surface on the beach that's where all your stuff's gonna be uh, stay away from these sanded areas you're not gonna get much on those you can actually see where the sand is kind of piled up out there in some areas and uh, that's how you do it Another good idea is what I call follow the cut and you can see where one 
wants to start here and now it's going to move straight down almost in a line and uh, stuff will collect in there. I've gotten quite a few coins out of there, some silver and you want to follow that but you want to also follow up on it because this thing could open up and the deeper and farther it opens up the more jewelry it's going to show up in that cut. Um, it's always a good little tip. I just walk them and I always do good. A uh, little sand's moved back in, but you never know out here. Uh, this beach has been producing the last four or five months, so.